Okay, so the first thing to say about Malignant is just go and watch it. I went to the pictures to see it. I didn't know who the director was, didn't know who was starring in it, hadn't seen the trailers, hadn't read the premise, hadn't heard any reception it had had. All I knew is that it was a horror and that it was called Malignant. And having seen this movie in that way, I would not want to change that experience. I'll do my best not to talk about spoilers in this video, but even if I don't talk about specific narrative spoilers, they might still be tonal spoilers that indicate towards certain things in the film or set certain expectations that you might have. So if there is anything to take away from this video, it's that you should watch Malignant as soon as you can, preferably in a theater, knowing as little as possible. And if that's not enough to convince you, hopefully the rest of the video is. The film takes so many twists and turns that it's difficult to talk about things without spoiling. But to set it up, Annabelle Wallace plays a pregnant woman in an abusive relationship, who seems to be haunted by a dark and foreboding spirit and an unexplainable series of murders, both that seem to have links to her mysterious past. That might be the narrative, but it's not necessarily what's going on in the film. Director James Wan is mostly known for his previous work on Saw, The Conjuring and Insidious, which all lend this storyline a certain level of credence and authenticity among modern horrors. But before we can even get to that, the opening scene of this film is so divergent from that style that for me, one of the recurring questions while watching was, how is this movie ever going to reconcile those two drastically different styles? And that's the real question of Malignant. But even if the rest of the movie is ultimately in service of that question, that's not to say that there isn't anything else going on. The main bulk of the narrative with Annabelle Wallace's character and the murders and things that haunt her, there's enough happening there to keep those questions about the first scene at arm's length for most of the film. It has its own mysteries, its own twists and turns, enough to preoccupy you and cleverly guide you towards certain conclusions. Yes, it has its questionable moments, and yes, it seems to make some rather knowing nods to the audience, but for the most part, it's played straight enough to lull the audience into a false sense of security. And that's the real benefit of having James Wan as director. Once it has lulled its audience in, it's fair to say that Malignant takes a dramatic, excessive and honestly just insane turn from that point until the end of the film. And I had a big stupid grin on my face throughout the whole thing. Even if you've broadly pieced together what's happening and where things might go, I guarantee you will not see things coming quite the way that they do. There have been some criticisms over Malignant's intent. Whether it's supposed to be quite as campy and schlocky as it really is, but I can't see this as being anything other than purely intentional. The film is structured like a joke, and the straighter, longer and more committed the setup is, the funnier the punchline will be once it lands. So when it comes to how Malignant reconciles its main plot with that wild opening scene, I'm not sure I'd call it a reconciliation as much as I'd call it a high-speed collision. But either way, that first scene 100% tells you where things are going. This movie is the embodiment of let's just keep going and see what happens. And in a way, it needs to be. Because when you do something the way that Malignant does it, there's no point in half-arsing your effort. So I absolutely recommend watching Malignant, preferably in the biggest, busiest theater you can find, social distancing permitted, and just go along with it, because trust me, this is a movie you're gonna wanna be on board and strapped in for. Thanks for watching.